a fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outfox the other. Don't go anywhere, all the action coming up next. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It is Braga up against Hoffenheim. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Robert Skoff. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Options in the middle. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. For the lead here, an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Ricardo Orta, Banza, well using the space really well, but now can they push on? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kadozhabek. Kramaric. And players waiting at the far post. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Short corner favoured. Moving forward effectively. He fancies it. And a decent save. Full credit. short corner let's see and the cross goes in and putting paid to the danger effective press Paulo Oliveira Victor Gomez the defenders know you can't really allow space like that and let's give credit to the defending.
Kadozhabek. Kramaric. Couldn't keep the ball. Borja. Banza. Oh, he's given the ball away. Moutinho. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Ball retention so important. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Let's see about the delivery. Clearance needed to be better. And Moutinho with it. Moutinho. Salazar. Bruma in possession. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Well, oh, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Opportunity it is. Can he convert? And not cleared away properly. Well, they can bring it out now. Superb effort to keep it in. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Rodrigo Salazar. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. John Brooks. How can he take them on and beat them? Who can he pick out? Cleared away comprehensively. And still looking for space. Turning inside, where's he going to go? That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And the substitution will occur now. Oh, denied by the post. Well, defensive resilience there. Kader Zabek. Florian Grilic. Brummer keeping possession of the ball with authority. Untidy in possession. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. So a half an hour remaining. Robert Scott. 
Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Christian Borja. Siku Niakate. It's with Moutinho. Borja. Rodrigo Salazar. Might be able to set up the chance. Really good build up, but no end product. On to Vechhorst. Trying to open up the defence. A matter of keeping his composure. And from a very acute angle, off the woodwork. Yeah, from that position, that was a really good effort. Well, they've decided to make a change. Victor Gomez. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Moutinho. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Kader Zabek. Andrei Kramaric. On to Vechhorst. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Moutinho, plenty of options, but really sticking to the task defensively. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they profit from this? Chance to play it in. Vechhorst. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Oh, what an astonishing save! Well, that save has probably won the game for his team. Brilliant stuff from the keeper. So, a personnel change then. And taken short. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Yeah. <laughs> corner kick played in. And the problem not completely solved. High quality defending. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. But they dealt with the threat posed. And a chance for him on the flank. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Good piece of closing down. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Moutinho. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.